Yesterday's video was all about the Pi Zero and how to acquire one for the cheapest price. And in this video, I just wanted to show you some actual footage running my Pi Zero completely stock, running RetroPi, and showing you the different systems and how they run. I did a bunch of different things from Game Boy Advance, Final Burn Alpha, Arcade, running through MAME, um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega 32X. So here's real gameplay freshly played recently on a stock Pi Zero so you can see for yourself what you can expect when you get a Pi Zero. Something I didn't show a lot of is that the menu system in RetroPi is significantly slower on a Pi Zero. There is quite a bit of input lag and uh, it does take a while to catch up. The other thing being video snaps do take longer to load. I highly recommend you do not use video snaps when you're making an image strictly for the Pi Zero. So as you can see, Sonic Adventure 2, extremely laggy, just about unplayable for the Game Boy Advanced. Super Mario Brothers 3, which is a Super Mario Advanced 4 game, uh, playable, but extremely laggy again. Three ninjas kick back, laggy in the system menu, but once you get playing, the game runs just fine. This was Got him. You can make it happen. So a little harder of a game to emulate is probably going to be Primal Rage. Let's give this a shot. This is how you beat this game. You just who cares about these guys? You just keep going.
See, this is pretty laggy. I'm having a hard time keeping up here. Ouch. Got him. I like how the aliens just walk out the door casually. I can use some pizza right now. There's a lot of aliens. If there's this many aliens in the movie, we'd be dead meat. Boom. It's a little bit of lag right there, but did okay. Nice. And uh, a couple of Neo Geos. So Metal Slug already gets some lag on the Pi 3, especially when there's a lot of things on this screen. Let's do this. Thank you. Oh. Heavy machine gun. Yeah, when I when I fire in different directions, there's quite a bit of lag. See how, how much lag we're getting over here. It's actually making this game a little easier for me. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Got him. Give me my rocket launcher. So this is absolutely playable. So pretty incredible. I'm gonna end here with a little NES Zelda. I'm planning on maybe streaming this all the way through uh, at a, on a later video, but as you can see, I was pleasantly surprised, as I mentioned in a previous video, Game Boy Advance does struggle a little bit. Nintendo 64 doesn't play at all. But as you saw, you know, even the 32X, actually, I was a little pleasantly surprised that some of the games do run just fine. So that's about the threshold. When you start getting into some of the more advanced arcade games, some of the more advanced uh, 32x 32-bit games that's where we're gonna see some difficulties but as far as Nintendo Super Nintendo all the Ataris all the portables except the Game Boy Advanced you know the Game Gear the Genesis all the Sega products um, Final Burn Alpha CPS 1 2 and 3 seem pretty decent you will see slight slowdowns when the screens get busy and there's a lot going on but still I mean as you saw there's over 5,000 games you know, with over a dozen consoles that are going to run just fine on your Pi Zero. So those are the limitations. This All this footage was from a Pi Zero, um, and so these are what you can uh, expect. 
pretty impressive considering that it's only half a gigabyte of RAM. You know, it's an older pro ARM processor. Um, I mean, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive that five bucks can do all this. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.